Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have Kolarov to review today. We are looking at a very interesting card. Yay. When you guys give me loan cards, you make me happy because you allow every single person to be able to try out the new content um, of the day, whether the card is worth getting or not. That's an interesting variable to have in your game. Please release loan cards for all your cards because it was really annoying that I couldn't try out Trezegate to even let people know if he was worth doing or not because of the price you know like i didn't know if you gave him a hunter chemistry style if his dribbling was good enough there's no way of actually telling right so please release loan cards in the future it definitely helps all the community in regards to making your game more enjoyable than it can be because of your gameplay situation right but we're looking at kolarov's card ladies and gentlemen we're looking at a card that is six foot two with medium high work rates left footed three star three star specifically in that left center defense and mid position, okay? There are not that many cards you can compare Kolarov to in regards to having the left foot on the left side, six foot two height, medium high work rates with good general stats, okay? If we take a look at his specific stats, we're looking at 82 acceleration, 78 sprint speed with uh, decent shooting capabilities in the CDM position, especially since he has 99 shot power, 96 long shots. The 87 attacking positioning with the plus five, we have to see what he's like attacking wise because if I give him the shadow chemistry style, it's not going to give him the basic boost of that plus five. So I would actually prefer to not get that base boost of a plus five for his attacking positioning uh, because I want him to be more defensive oriented, right? Because 87 is very decent. Pushing it higher is not something that I'd actually want to do because sometimes that kind of pushes them out of position. Um, even if you have them on medium high, right? So with this card, it's pretty obvious that you would slap a shadow on him. If you give him a plus 15 for acceleration, plus 10 for sprint speed, and then you boost those defensive stats in the general sense, that with 99 composure, great passing ability, decent shooting capabilities, yes, 67, shot, uh, 67 finishing, but he does have 99 shot power, 96 long shots. Uh, physical capabilities are already there as well because of the fact that uh, Kolarov has a really good body type in game. Tall, pretty stockish, right? So the 81 strength is kind of like increased in a way because of the fact that he's a big guy in game. 81 strength on someone like a Bumiang is kind of like 50-50 because his stock is a little bit more skinny, right? So it's like a skinny build stock, right? But he's like big but skinny. And it's kind of like a nuisance from time to time. But Kolarov actually has like a big stocking game and it's very very helpful right 91 stamina is a big thing too so if you want to keep on a balance instructions in the cdm position you definitely can i wouldn't recommend it because i do think that this guy's gonna be more defensive oriented in the cdm position with the shadow chemistry style on stay back while talking cover center or stay back while talking cover center and cut passing lanes right so a lot of different variables to work with this uh work with this card i want to show you guys how we're going to be lined up with him in game don't worry about the the state of the team it's just about trying him out on the his full ke uh, chemistry capabilities. And these are completely wrong. We're going to try out Kolarov in the left center defensive position on the bounce instructions first. And then we will rotate that accordingly, right? So you want to do that. We always try it out on bounce to see what he's like transitioning forward and transitioning back, especially with his medium high work rates and his stamina. So we're going to get into a game real quick. We're going to see how he plays and then uh, I'll let you guys know how he plays. So this is Kolarov right here. You can tell that he's absolutely massive. The dribbling, guys, the agility and balance, irrelevant. Absolutely irrelevant. His reactions, his other dribbling stats in the high 90s is definitely compensating really well for that left foot. So that dribbling is not going to be like William Carvalho. Let's see if he utilizes this empty space right here. Touch downwards, shield a little bit. Still very strong to get the ball back there. It's not a bad thing that my opponent got the ball in that situation. It's because like I have to obviously test his shielding in, in, in specific positions. Um, this gameplay is actually very playable right now. Um, but yeah, he's really nice so far. I actually kind of like his positioning. So on the balance instructions, he does position himself well in the CDM position. Let me just rotate to this side over here. So now the other CDM kind of pushes forward and he's in an opening over here again. Yeah, so on bounce so far, he's working out really nicely. I think on stay back while attacking, you're looking at a very, very nice CDM in all fairness. We're going to shoot it from here. A really nice, powerful strike right there. The shot power and the long shots were very, very noticeable right there. Yeah, he's massive in game. That size is definitely going to be super beneficial for him for sure. Um... 
that tackle in the general sense, like again, those are that's like a FIFA mechanic where they kind of tackle, put that pressure on the opponent and get the ball. Really good defensive play right there, good possession-based tackle. I, I honestly, guys, there's cards that like you can tell they're gonna be good right off the bat. This card seems so far that he's he would definitely be worth looking into in that CDM position, especially being that left-footed, uh, high physical type player. His transition back into the, into the defensive area as well is actually very solid. Um, he was on balance as well, so I kind of want to see what his off the ball movement is in certain areas, especially like in a situation like that. I want to see what it's like when the opponent is attacking against me and how he positions himself. Good positioning by him. Let's see how he transitions back into position. Stays in the left on the left side. Zaniolo went to go occupy his position. Let's see if there's a rotation policy. He transitions really well to his position afterwards. Yeah, so even on the balance instruction, right? Um, even on the balance instruction, you can see that he starts to transition slowly back into his into his position. He's not super aggressive into utilizing empty space. People like uh, Alexander Arnold's card, whenever they were in an attacking position, they usually stayed there and tried to find a different attacking position. So he's definitely more defensive oriented, which is perfect. He tries to utilize that middle position instantly in the, in the uh, for the defensive area. I really like his off the ball positioning so far. I'm very impressed with it in the attacking area. Aggressive push there. Okay, let's see what, he like, let's see what he's like transitioning back because Caputo is kind of like occupying his position. He still goes back into position instantly. That's really good, man. I'm telling you guys, his high, dribble, his high dribbling stats around the agility and balance is definitely compensating really well for his dribbling. Like, it's actually quite responsive for his height and stuff. Balance instructions, he tried to utilize this space in the middle. Now he's occupying that attacking area. Somebody else went to go occupy his spot. Now he starts to slowly transition back into his position. That's good. He didn't do it super fast to go back into position, but that's fine because then your cam will, your cam or your other players will go and occupy his position instantly, right? So, um, but I think he realizes pretty quickly that he wants to be in that CDM position. So I actually really like this card so far. What I'm actually gonna give a give a try is I'm gonna keep him on stay back while talking and cut passing lanes, and I want to see how he plays balanced wise with a medium high worker player next to him in the Zondes card or a low high. I think he's low high or medium high. Yeah, so stay back while attacking, cut passing lanes, and stay center now. I really think that with those medium-high work rates and his huge defensive capabilities, I think he'll be really good there. All right, so what his positioning is like here. Tracks back really nicely into that middle area. Blocks that 18-yard box area really nicely, actually. And is always moving around the attacking player, which is perfect. <clears throat> and went into the center back position to receive the ball in a better position. Let's not use him. Look at his transition back. Not even going to touch him. Cut pass lane, stay back while attacking cover center. Not using him the entire time. Positioned really well on that left center defenseman position. Not using him. No second man press. Still positions him, himself really well on that center, mid, uh, that center defenseman position. Yep, great defensive presence right there to get, uh, right there to get the ball. Nice, let's go. Good tackle right there. Nice. Good dribbles right there to open the space. Oh, almost, almost scored a goal with his left foot right there. Lozano doesn't have a great left foot, but we always try those. Uh, of course I don't score that. Chalanoglu doesn't have any quality whatsoever. <laughs> Ooh, Palatano showing why he's a beast. All right, guys, so final verdict on the card. Oh my God, EA, this is, this is what I want. If you guys give me a loan card so I can try all these cards to give a proper review on them to show people whether the cards are worth getting or not, even in your inconsistent gameplay, that's fun for me, okay? Like it's, I, I'm still annoyed of not being able to get Trezeguet, but this card, at least you guys gave out a loan so we could try it out. Guys, I think for 188k, especially if you did the Mkhitaryan, uh, the Mkhitaryan card to get those certain linkups and whatnot, this card is actually really worth getting, right? So he has the 87, 
attacking positioning, right? But I'm telling you guys this right now, if you give this card a shadow chemistry style and you give them that plus 15 for acceleration with 10 sprint speed, as well as the defensive stat boost on stay back while attacking cover center cut pass lanes or stay back while attacking and cover center, you're looking at a very good player to have in the le on the left side position because I was taking a look at the players that exist in the Serie A in regards to players who play in that left center defenseman position and nobody can really do it that well like you obviously have Dominguez who is a high high worker player that has the four star weak foot uh who has decent defending stats and whatnot right but it's 277k right not medium high right so you have to check out who's medium high from the um from the Syria that can play in that position. And the only per person you can genuinely compare him to in regards to all the selections you see here, unless Medell is like four-star weak foot. He has a, Medell has a four-star weak foot, but he is shorter because I know Medell is a short player. He's five foot seven. There's no one you can really compare this car to in regards to the capabilities that he offers. You know how like when you're using Milinkovic Savage, you can kind of compare Milinkovic Savage to Pogba. There's no comparison to be made with Kolarov and the other Serie A players. So for 188k, guys, you're looking at a card that will play that left center defenseman position for you really well, specifically because he is left footed with a big stocking game, very tall. Um, he's more defensive oriented. So he always tries to utilize that empty space in the middle in regards to defending it properly. Properly, right, so he had a very, very good balance being on the left side with the right center defenseman next to him. So, if you guys have any plans on getting this card, it's definitely worth getting because his dribbling, being this high in the general sense with high composure, high dribbling, decent ball control, and high reactions, it really compensates well for the lack of agility and balance that the card has in the CDM position, right? But obviously, most of the thing you want the CDM to do or be capable of doing is being very good defensively. I'm telling you with a shadow chemistry style, you guys are gonna look at a very, very good card. It's lovely to have the 91 stamina. His physical aspect was very noticeable in game, especially with the 81 strength with his stock in game. It makes the strength even more. If it was like a, if he was like really skinny in game, then it wouldn't really matter that much. But because of his uh, big stock, it definitely helps. Passing, you don't need to improve. Shooting, a 67 shooting can be a nuisance from time to time, obviously in certain positions. But he does make up for it a lot with 99 shot power, 96 long shots, specifically playing in that left center defensive position. So if you guys want to get this card for a very good link up in your team and for a card that doesn't really have anyone you can compare him to, the card is definitely worth it in that regard. So uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy the video today. I will catch you guys for the next video. I think I have like two more videos to make today. I don't know what I'm going to do yet, but uh, we'll see. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys. You guys have yourself a good day. Bye.